hi guys so i'm coming to you today with this video on my expressions outre twisted up afro spring twist hair i realize i never did a video on this hair and i use it so often right here is when i had just finished my twist and um I stretched them so that's why they're not as springy but um this is my go-to favorite hair they just look so natural I just love the way this hair like really works and reacts with my natural hair um you can use it whether if you're natural or relaxed um it really works well um stay tuned for the video thanks for watching Hey YouTube, it's Soy Sweet 99 and I wanted to do a quick video about the hair, the twist that I have in because um, a couple of people asked me um, what did I do and what did I use, etc, etc. But um, I wanted to talk a little bit about this hair because I was looking all over my YouTube channel and I noticed that I don't have any videos on this twist hair. And um, I had it in a couple of years ago. Um, uh, I would say 2019 and well actually my birthday video I have I had like cornrows going to the side um, knotless cornrows or uh, feed in cornrows and then I had these twists coming down like this but I had them like only up till here I cut them short and it was so cute guys I mean like it didn't look anything like how they look now I feel like they're look like they're longer it, they change the shape but Anyway, these are spring twists, and I'm going to show you the package. It's by Outre. So here it is. I'm going to show you the pack. Outre Expressions. And it says um, Butterfly Locks, Distress Locks, Twisted Up, Springy Afro Twist. And three sections come in here. So you see it's three sections. Now, I want to tell you about the hair, first of all, first. I love this hair. And the reason why I love it is because it's a little coarse. So if you want, like, a coarser texture um, to spring twist. And so I, I usually call these kinky spring twists because of the texture of it. Um, and I like the fact that, like, when I, this is how I usually do it when I do it um, for myself. I use um, Eco Styler Gel. And I smooth it down. I put a little Jamaican black casserole on in here and I smooth it out. Because for my hair texture, because it's kind of fine, it could be slightly rough. But it's not as rough as some of the kinky hairs. And um, I'll smooth it down. And then I'll put a little um, Eco Styler, like the green one. I forgot the name, the, uh, what that, the Argan oil, any one of them. And I smooth it down and it makes the, the strand so wavy. It looks just like Afro textured hair when you put like gel or something on it. And it makes the little curl, it waves up and then it elongates the hair. And the kind, the length that I have is 16 inches, which you could see right there. So I have 16 inches and it elongates it out. And so what I did was like a whole box braid. I didn't even, let me tell you, they, I had um knotless blinds on end braids and i just took those out and just i didn't even part i just put them in the exact same spots i started each twist out with a braid at the top um right now i have this crazy hairstyle going on because i'm just coming in from a doctor's appointment but um i have like uh bobby pins up here because i kind of like this little side action going on there so i just wore it like this today but I'm going to show you the back and things like that, but I'm going to zoom in and get a little close up. What I did today too, being just creative or just wanting a different look, I loosed my ends out a little bit more. See, look at that. I, I unraveled some of the ends. So look, let me show you one of them. That's not a good one, but I unraveled some of the ends. Now mine, usually they look a little shorter than this. I'm going to tell you what I did. So like I got one strand out. This is my little strand. So I took out one strand like this, right? Now when I braided it into my hair, I kind of stretch it a little after I put the gel and the eco styler and the castor casserole and everything on it. And I kind of fold it like this to make it a little longer. But then here's my other trick, guys. This is what I what I usually do sometimes with this here. It depends on how I want to wear it. Now I did it for this style. But what I usually do is, well, 
not usually, it depends. If I want them short and fluffy, I'll, I'll just put them in after I twist them with the gel and I'll just put them in and then just let them spring up and they look cute and bouncy with a little kind of wave slightly. But what I did this time, because I kind of wanted them stretched out, I stretched it. And I don't know, there's a couple of my friends and people I know said that they didn't know you could do this way. Like, cause this is actually Canacalon here and it says it on a package. Canacalon here. But um, what I, you can do is take a blow dryer, right? So I take my blow dryer and I put it on the hair and I stretch it out, let's say like this, the twist, and I hold it like that. And it actually lets it set in that position. And I did that because, and I didn't want to dip it in hot water because I knew it would hot water set it and it would mess up my nice little curly ends, which I love so much. So I just did that. So that's a tip for anybody who doesn't don't know that you can do that, whether it's braids, twist, or whatever. Most people use it for twists that do know about the method. And you just take the blow dryer on a high heat setting and you just stretch it and you'll stretch it. It's like stretching out natural hair. So the pros that I really like about this hair, I like the fact that it takes really, really well to like conditioner. I use when I get in the shower sometimes, I just don't even go in with a shower cap and I'll just go in and get them slightly damp. And I'll put um, Aussie, the Aussie, the three minute miracle curl, and I'll put those on the bottom. And it's crazy because these will, this here like will react to that and your curls will be popping on the bottom and bouncy and everything. You see them? I'm telling you, when I do a video on this here again, I'm gonna show you how it looks when I don't stretch it. Cause it looks, I don't know, well, it looks better depending on the look that I want. Um, I have some in the back, back here, that I didn't stretch so much. You see when you pull it, look. If I pull it down, it'll be all the way down there. So you see it still has some stretch to it. So I'm gonna um, turn around. I'm gonna stand up because I want you to see where it reaches me and I'm about 5'5". Five, five. So this is where it reaches me in the back. And hopefully I'm in the camera view so you can see. Can you see that? So that's where it reaches me in the back. Uh, yeah, it's almost to my waist. If I if I really stretched them out the way that I, I kind of wanted to, you would have saw the actual you know, really real lens of it, but they wouldn't be spring to us if I stretched it out like so. But I just wanted to come to you guys and tell you about this hair. If anyone's ever tried this hair, leave it in, in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Oh, my turtle's back there going crazy. You probably hear my aquarium, but um, <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this hair. Um, and um, if you like it, if you dislike it, if you've never tried spring twist hair and you want kind of like a kinky kind of, but not so kinky type of texture, this is it. I remember when I had it in before and I had the cornrows going to the side like this. So it was like this. So when I had the cornrows to the side, check out, go look at my videos and um, go on my page. And I think it's called my best birthday moments. I had this hair and it was so cute. I had, so you'll see how I had it. So it was like cornrowed, like so, let's say. So this was the knotless cornrows all going to the side. And then I had the hair over here. You see that right there? And I had the hair going over and it was all just like short like this and the twist. Everybody thought they were curls. Like people were like, those curls are so pretty. Like I guess like it looked like this ringlet. It had like a ringlet drop curl type of effect. But um, yeah. So um, I'm doing this little side thing today. I'm stepping back out so I don't want to um, take it down and I have to pin it up in this manner. But I'm going to do, I have a video on here when I, I think when I first did them where you can see. But I only use one full pack like this and a half. So let's say one bundle and a half of another bundle to do my whole head. And I think I have... I had 18 here, 18, so that's 36. And I think in the back, I had 40. So I'm thinking I have about 76 twists in my head. And I have a little head, like, where my hair starts, like, you know. 
And then my hair is kind of thin over here, so I don't even put any in that area. So they kind of start behind the hairline. But let me let me let let me know what you guys think and um about this hair if you've used it if you use another brand because to be honest i was going to go for an ombre effect this time i really wasn't going to go for just jet black but i just had the blonde ombre in and i'm like i want to try something different so i'm thinking to myself like okay let me try something that is jet black again because i wanted i don't know my skin kind of pops my skin was looking ruddy with that blonde and i feel like my skin like kind of pops when i have my jet black in um but yeah, let me just zoom in before I close out this video so you can really, really see the hair. I don't know, I may I may braid the ends back up, but I just did that for today. I just did that for today. See? So you can actually see my twist and what the hair texture looks like. So thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to make this video pretty short. I'm going to add some pictures at the end and I think I put some in the beginning. And feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, soy underscore sweet 99. Follow me on Instagram, S-O-Y underscore I-C-A. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Bye.